after closing up the uh, bottom panel and turning it on, these are pretty much its idle temperatures. And the graphics card idles at 51 degrees, and the uh, the new the Core 2 Duo uh, idles at 46 and 49. Now, for uh, K40 owners, you might be wondering why is there a T7500? Because of this mod, when it had the Pentium Duo Core, it was idling at 40 degrees. So I had calculated that it would the machine now was able to house the T7500, which clocks at 2.2 gigahertz with 4 megabytes of cache. And this actually had turned up the uh, the ratings a bit, if you're wondering. The Pentium was at 5.1 with the RAM, now with the Core 2 Duo, and now we're at 5.5. And then you must be wondering why they're 4.9 all of a sudden. Uh, the graphics card has been overclocked as well. I open up GPU-Z. The stock clocks and the uh, new clock, you can see, has been overclocked. I was able to get 525 megahertz out of this with uh, 821 MHz uh, memory, able to get 13.1 GB uh, for bandwidth instead of the 12.1. Uh, this is as far as I can overclock with before it starts at artifacting, but I can get about 3 frames per second extra at only 2, uh, two, degrees to f uh, two to 4 degrees increase. Z50, 548, so it idles pretty calm. And if I start opening up Prime 95 for just a second, just do maximum heat. It does shoot up there, but if I had the uh, just the standard cooling system, I would have hit 90 degrees already uh, with the CPU and GPU on one on one copper path. So you can see here now, the uh, graphic card isn't as affected to the CPU's intense heat now. Now that it has the CPU has two paths to uh, spread its heat now. So even though the chassis is still 71 degrees with the CPU, the graphics card still kept pretty cool. Uh, with the standard cooling and, and all the standard parts specifications, at idle, I was already idling at about 70 degrees for uh, GPU when the CPU was at like 70 degrees. So now, as you can see, it does slowly rise from the heat nearby from it, but it still kept pretty cool. could hear a bit of the fan working a bit. But uh, I tested this for about, I ran it for about 7 hours and the maximum it hit was about 78 degrees at Prime 95 which is actually pretty good for a single fan, single exhaust outlet uh, laptop. So I'll just stop this. And if I run Furmark. GPU choked a bit on the new driver. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions why this new uh, update is sometimes cra crashing every time it comes off from sort of a high stress test. But see now it cools down quite fast, 58, 59, 60, rather than 72 and was just a couple seconds ago. GPU is still pretty stable with the heat. So running at 1366, 768 with anti-aliasing and burn-in and extreme burn-in. I'm just going to test it for a couple, show you guys. Uh, ran this six hours after I ran the Prime 95. Uh, the maximum heat it got was 80 degrees to 82 degrees for GPU, which is actually still pretty normal for a laptop. If it was desktop, it would be worrying, but it's not bad. It's about the same as the G53, which has a in more intense graphics card.
Oh, farm mark froze. Oh, there we go. Starting very slowly. There we go. So you see it's tempest rising slowly. Currently it's at 68 degrees. Uh, at idle is about uh, when after I did the uh, Prime 95, you see those like 63 degrees, 64. It only risen up five degrees over the past, which is about cool, like 30 seconds. Yeah, no, reaching 70 now. In the standard cooling, it would have shot up to about near 90 already with this. But as I said, after about 5 hours of running this uh, non-stop, it hit about 80 to 84 degrees, which actually was not that bad. This is currently 63, 67 for the processor, and then 69 as I just did the firmware for a couple seconds. But overall, it never hits. Uh, it never hits above about 85 degrees, even playing intense gaming. Well, the only game I play right now is Call of Duty, but uh, this thing took it quite well. Medium settings on 13, 6, 6, 7, 68 with the overclock. Uh, if I down, if I downclock it to the stock speed, the uh, graphics card actually runs with the Core 2 Dual idle speed about 50, uh, 52 degrees, which is actually not that bad. But it shows you that this. Um, Small little mod actually helped uh, this laptop a lot for the uh, Asus K40IN with the uh, graphics card. The ones without the graphics card have no problem at all, as it's just it, the Intel chips, uh, Intel graphics card does not produce a lot of heat, so that one copper, pa uh, copper path is perfect for it.